So we're going to have a look at this uh, polynomial that is in quadratic form. And the way to solve these is to make a substitution. Um, so what you want to look at is your middle term and your variable part. So you want to look and see, sorry, I meant to do that in red. Um, if you can square this piece and get to this piece. So if we can do x to the one-fifth, if we square that, would it give us x to the two-fifths? And it would, because this would be power to a power. Um, so you would multiply, um, and that would give us two-fifths. So um, we can use the u substitution. So we're going to let u equal from our uh, middle term, the variable part, x to the one-fifth. So u squared will be x to the one-fifth squared which would be you um, have a power to a power. So you're going to multiply on the exponents. Um, so this would give you x to the 2 over 5, which is what we want. So we're going to put u's here instead of these x's. So this one is u squared minus 14u plus 49 equals 0. And now we'll try to solve. This one looks much easier to solve. It's a regular quadratic now. So we'll try to factor. And um, this one looks to me like a perfect square trinomial. Uh, we'll do like signs, both minus. Uh, split your u's. And we can do 7 and 7, and that works. Minus 7 minus 7 gives us minus 14. So you can set these equal to 0 and solve, and they're going to give you the same answer. So you actually only have to solve one of them. So u equals 7. Now, you cannot stop there because you have solved for u. You want to solve for x. So you have to substitute back. You said that u equals x to the one-fifth. So you have to replace the u with x to the one-fifth equals 7. And to solve for this, you're going to raise this to a power that would give you 1 for the exponent of x. So if we raise one-fifth to the power of 5, those um, exponents would multiply. So we're going to raise x to the one-fifth to the fifth power. You have to do the same thing on the other side. Right, this is 5 over 1. So they multiply and they will actually just cancel. The 5's will cancel, the 1's will cancel. It gives us x to the first, which is x. x is isolated, that's what we want. We have to work out 7 to the fifth. So we'll do that on our calculator. 7 to the 5th, and there is our answer, 16807.